Hi, Ken Schaefer here, and I'm going to do a little myth busting on Frameforge. So one of the things that people are worried about often is that the program would take too long to use, and I'm going to show you how easy it is. So let's start with a blueprint, a layout. We're going to build our set because everything is based on set. So we'll hit display floor plan, and then we'll select one. And I got this flame floor plan off the internet, but presumably it would be of your location or whatever. So the first thing we do is set the scale of the um, floor plan, and that's pretty easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in to an area whose scale I know, like for example here it tells me that this is 13 um, uh, feet, 3 inches this way, and presumably 15 feet that way because it's a rectangle. I zoom in so I can see that. I hit next. And then I simply measure it. So um, I'm going to go from the inside here. So this is 13.3 feet. So I just draw that line. And then I say it's 13 feet, sorry, not 0.3, for 13 feet, 3 inches. OK, bang, we're done, we're finished. And now we have our blueprint here. And um, it's very easy. We can zoom into it. I'm just using my mouse wheel. I can drag it around, sorry. I can drag it around by just pressing the Alt key and dragging. So let's start building it. So because this is fundamentally a square, I'm going to start with this room. And I'll just drag this over here. And uh, I'm going to turn off the snap to grid because we're working with a blueprint, so it's less useful. And then we'll drag another one over here. And then we will, um, let's see, where else do we want? Uh, let's focus in on this. So then we have the linen room here. We have the rest of this. We have our kitchen. And if you notice here, I didn't quite line it up. So let's just quickly fix that. I can click and just get take go out of the um, drawing mode and uh, select this. And um, we'll just move it up. And there we go. And uh, we can add this little segment here and so on. So this is the first half of our house. And we'll leave it at this for the moment. And now there are all these doors in here and that we need to put in. So what I, all I do is I drag in a door over here. And if you notice, it's the wrong orientation. So I just take this and click it and put it there. And then it's a little larger than that other door is. So I just resize it and then drag it into position. And voila, there's our door. Um, we can do the same thing for the linen closet over here. We'll put in a door here. We don't specify what orientation it is, but good enough. And the bathroom, the door goes inwards. Uh, it's not as clearly shown, but you can see it there. And um, we it looks like it goes on the other side. So it opens, which makes sense. It you know goes that way. And where else do we want a door? Um, over here is a door. And again, we will position that and then just bring that in. And that looks like that's opening in the right direction. This looks like a set of double doors, so we will put that there. And then we'll just flip it so it opens like that, because that looks like that. what that is. Let's do some windows. Drag a window there. We'll drag a window here. These all look like they're fairly standard widths, so it looks like I'm not really even having to adjust them. This one looks like a bigger window. Actually, this looks like it's probably a sliding door onto the deck, so let's forget the window. Yeah, I know that. Let's forget the window and make it a sliding door. Um, and uh, Or here, let's even do better. We'll make this an archway, and then we'll drag in a nice glass sliding door, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. So that's that. And by the way, you notice that it tells me that it's 1.9 inches from this corner. It has a width of 5 feet 10 inches, and this is 14 feet. If we have exact measurements, we can click them and enter them here. So um, you have full control over these kinds of things. So, For example, if it's actually 6 feet, 
I can just type six feet and bang, it's now six feet. So all of that stuff really easy. And now we have the basic rooms here and we can dress them. So uh, let's first go back and put in that um, door, the glass door I was talking about. So what I'm gonna do is I double click to add a camera and let's get it facing here. This is facing the doorway that is gonna ultimately become, uh, look out onto a deck. So let's see, there we go. And so then I can simply go to props. I can scroll down to the bottom. Um, walls, sorry, doors, and I'm fairly sure we have a glass, yeah, sliding there. That looks perfect. So this is a glass sliding door, and all we do is we drag it into position, and it automatically sizes to fit our um, opening. That actually looks like that's the wrong kind, so we want a sliding glass patio door. So what we'll do is we'll, oops, deleted too much. Easy enough, undo, unselect the wall. We want just this door and um, so we'll get rid of that door and then we will, oops, I lost where I was. There we go. Let's make this so I can see it better. Okay, down to the bottom, door. That's what I wanted. Yeah, that's the kind of patio door we want. So now it's dragged in. And then if we want to open the door, we can say, um, oh, well, first we can say what the orientation of it is, but I'm going to just leave it as is, and then we can slide it. And here's our sliding glass door. Okay, back to our blueprint view. So again, we're here. This is our master bedroom. Since they seem to make a big deal of the, uh, well, let's do the floors first. Sorry if I'm bouncing around. It's just so exciting. So we're going to add a nice, um, carpet to this. So what I just did is I dragged in an auto sizing floor and um, we are going to go and pick carpets and uh, I like the blue checkered. Oh, that's more of a, a rug type thing. Let's, let's do a different one. So I can just um, go over here and choose textures and then where are we? Flooring carpets and what do we want Ooh, let's go with that I like that okay so we're dragging in that carpet and um, and then if we want the bathroom we can drag in again this is our auto sizing floor we can drag in the bathroom and we want dirty tile because it's old and so that we filled that with tile. We can take our kitchen, which we of course just had remodeled, and we can make that with um, some nice tile. Uh, what do we have here? We have this. Now you can bring in any tile from anywhere. So for example, if you had um, tile and brick, here we go. If you had uh, actual flooring that you wanted to match, you could just take a photo and drag it in and voila, you will be there. So let's click this. Now, if you notice, that's way too big, so we just set the tiling for this till it's someplace we like. That looks good to me. Click off of it, and we're there. And we have the other bathroom, and so we'll do that one as well. Might as well. And uh, tile and brick, and let's do this with a nicer, just a white bathroom tile. And again, that looks rather big. Now, if you notice, it exactly matched the shape, so it didn't go into our linen closet here. Um, it just went into the bathroom. Okay, so that's our floors. Uh, we can add in ceilings as well if we want, same technique. We simply drag in a ceiling, it auto sizes, we select what we want, tiling and so on. And it goes invisible so we can see what we're working on. But if we look at the shots, it will actually be there. Um, so let's go into our master bedroom. And in this one, we have a uh, overhead ceiling fan. So let's type in ceiling here and we see our fan and we put that here. Uh, and then we know we need to elevate this. So we can just click our elevate button. 
Um, and it's probably, say, seven feet up. Sounds good to me. Um, and then it's seven feet up. So, and then we can add in a bed. We see all of our, our variety of beds. Let's go in for a big double bed um, here. One of the neat things, again, um, in terms of speed is I don't have to be all that careful. Uh, if, if I put it through the wall, it knows that doesn't make any sense. And so it pushes it back through the wall so that um, I have it in the right place without having a lot of effort. Uh, put in a wardrobe. I can spin this either dynamically or since I know that it needs to go 90 degrees, I could specify that numerically. And obviously, this doesn't have a lot of space for a wardrobe, but that's not my problem. I didn't choose the room. I'm just building it. Anyways, um, and then let's drop in a camera here. Um, so here's a camera, and we are in the bedroom now. Oops, I went through the wall. Not all, not a great choice, but let's do that. We're going to dolly back. Um, so here's our bedroom. Here's our, um, what do you call it, wardrobe. And if you notice, it has a real reflection going on um, of the bed. And so as I dolly around, the reflection will change. See? Coolio. And it has our, our chosen floor. And then um, we can add wallpaper just by adding, um, clicking here, click a wall. It takes us to the wallpaper area. Let's do this. Let's um, lock the aspect ratio so that as we scale it, it will not stretch. So then we can do that for the next wall as well. Um, if we had them selected to begin with, we could have done that for both at the same time, but we didn't, so be it. Um, and so now we have very quickly a room and a house that we can shoot at. And then we can drop in actors and uh, we'll go back to the objects and drop him onto the bed. He will automatically sit there and we are ready to shoot. So that really didn't take very long, did it?